Our topic now is websites. It's such a huge subject that you can take it in just about any direction you want. There are websites that serve purposes from global marketing campaigns to community social programs to your own career development and success. So let's have a look at what goes into an effective website design, along with some suggestions from professionals in the field. And let's consider some criteria that might help you conduct an analysis of one of your favorite websites and assess what's been done well and what might be done even better. Even though the Internet began in the United States, including a formative partnership that involved UCLA, UCSB, Stanford, and the University of Utah, it is now a truly worldwide web with geographical distribution spread all over the globe. And tossing up your own website is now as simple as signing up with any number of hosting services. And there is no shortage of free website hosting options if you're working on a small budget. Companies with an international presence can be large corporations such as the Vons Company, which employs more than 20,000 people and features blogs, product databases, sale items, tips and recipes, and customer support. Or you can have a website serving small, family-run companies with just two employees with an equally impressive presence, if done right. An effective website can scoop up traffic from search engine returns and social media campaigns that may use a tweet or Facebook posting for a pea soup recipe, for example. Then direct that traffic to a company's web pages and blogs. If you are an expert in some field of knowledge or some special craft such as making homemade jam, you can create a how-to website and possibly monetize it with one of the advertising placement services such as Google AdSense. Some websites make hundreds or even thousands of dollars a month through this sort of educational service. You can create websites where contributors add to your repository of educational materials, including how-to articles, case studies, and best tips shared by professional practitioners. Of course, before your website can help anyone, first, people have to find it. You can find some information in the readings and resources I'll be sharing a little later on how to boost your search rankings. And you can use your social media networks to direct visitors to your pages and also score you points with internet search engines. And keep an eye out for the smartphone apps now available serving companies and social programs. It's getting increasingly simple for you to produce and publish an app of your own. So here's a task for you to try. Find a website you admire and assess it. Who is its target audience? What sorts of information does it provide? How does it keep a visitor sticking around? How does it promote itself across social media? How does it make money if it does? How do you like its navigation and overall user experience? Well, that's a quick look at some of the fundamentals of website development. You can find more in-depth resources at the links posted here. They're all free, and they may also lead you to my university pages and the materials I provide my students through universities in California. For now, we'll see you next time.